Igual a mí, lo mismo me da. A Yo, saber qué pasará. De verdad que sí. Pero Bien. sí me dejó hacer los ejercicios, eso sí me dejó hacerlos. Lo único que este, ahorita que quería chequear este, la clase, me dice de que, que falla de conexión, que falla de página, que hay que volverla a cargar. Sí, porque yo igual, yo temprano anduve ahí en la página y no, no tuve problema. Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, oh, teacher. How's everything? How's everything? Everything okay? <laughs> How was your holiday, by the way? Hello, teacher. Hello. How was your holiday? Did you rest? Yes. Yes. It's vacation for vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Right. You have to rest a little. I think you work a lot, right? Okay. Oh, we're gonna be uh checking to the your platform, but I think we're having some troubles, right? Um, I don't know. Have you have any difficulty in the platform? Yeah, I, I have a problem right now with the platform uh, teacher. Uh-huh. Me uh, too, teacher. I don't know. I don't know why I can't. Uh, I don't know why uh, I get into the platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm checking that right now. I don't know what, what happened. So let me check that again. What are you feeling, teacher? Uh, so, so. <laughs> I, did. I think I ate some, uh, um, you... some popos. <laughs> But you're still sick, I think, right? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I hope uh, I'll feel well soon. Yeah. Did you take any pills or something? Um. Yeah. Some antibiotics. Um. Uh, uh, some. Yeah. They're prescribed. Mm, yeah. But. But. Well, you know, it happens. <laughs> yeah. Espero que sea mejor. ¿no? Yeah. Sí. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I think the platform is not working right. So it's like charging. Or is it Google? No. No, no, it's Google because uh, I have a uh, Mozilla. Uh, it's the oh, same. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Well, uh, basically in today's lesson, we're gonna be checking in a previous uh, class or checking a uh, past uh, continuous, right? Versus simple past. Yes, is that what you know? Yes. We're gonna be uh, writing some exercises. Just uh, let me... I'll share my board, okay? Okay, thanks for letting me know. I know your listeners. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, let's see. Well, I think I'm gonna use this one. So I need a white space. Well, I, I was thinking about showing you the platform, but I don't know why is this is not working. So we're gonna be talking about well, we're gonna be creating some exercises um on the past continuous versus simple past. And later we will continue with our uh, next topic, which is uh, basically about uh, verbs and uh, Past perfect continuous, okay? So we're gonna have some speaking activities. So let's see, let's start writing some examples.
for example, uh, when she called, so what could be, remember that when we talk about past uh, continuous versus simple past, we're talking about activities, uh, an activity which interrupted another activity, right? When she called, for example, I was, so what were you doing when she called? So could you give me uh, some examples? I was taking a shower, dancing, sleeping. So could you give me some ideas? When she called, for example, I was. I, I yeah? was sleeping. You were sleeping. You were sleeping. Eating. Eating. Perfect. So remember that we have two classes, right? One independent class and another uh, dependent class. When she called, I was sleeping. So one of them depends on the other one, right? So we have thus a, a sentence in the past tense plus a sentence in the past continuous form. Okay, let's see another example. When I came home, Example. So what happened when I came home? Let's see, give me ideas. Complete that thought. When I came home, the cat? The dog. Any idea? Think like, about it. Uh huh. The, the, the cat eating? The yeah. cat? The cat mm -hmm. eating. The cat crying. Oh, okay. The cat was crying. Was crying. Yeah, perfect. Right. So, and you can invert these two clusters, right? For example, uh, let's see. Um, she was, uh, for example, writing a report. When? So, could you complete that with the past tense structure? She was writing a report when. What do you think? So what could interrupt this activity? So what could have happened? Yeah. She was writing a report when? When I, when I was, um, Uh huh. So yes. you were, you were writing a report when something when, when I was no when I como romper las reglas. Mm, okay. When I broke the rules, could be. Mm. Yes, when I broke the, the rules. The rules. Or for example, when someone else when i uh, for example talked to her right so remember you interrupt someone okay so our long this is the long activity which was uh when i talked to, to the class for example it could be when you okay i was teaching the class when jenny talked to me yes right jenny <laughs> um, so this is a line activity which was in progress in the, in the past when this other activity interrupted something else that was uh, happening in the past, right? Okay, and we will mention some more examples using while in order to remember while and when are similar, they uh, express the same idea of uh, an activity which has been interrupted by something else, right? For example, while plus ing plus, uh, we have a past tense uh, structure. While I was eating, she came. 
So, and while and when in this sense, they express the same. One activity interrupted another one, right? So while I was eating, she came. But while can also be a parallel situation. For example, uh, things that were happening simultaneously, right? While I was eating, she was dancing, for example. So this is a simultaneous activity. And the, and the first one is basically the same meaning as uh, if you were using when. Mm -hmm. While I was sitting, she came. So when I was sitting, she came, yes? So it can be while or when. Or you can use while in order to talk about simultaneous activities. While I was eating, she was dancing. She was dancing. Okay, let's see. So try to give me two examples. One, using, using when, and the second one, using while. So think about your examples. Intenten darme un ejemplo, okay? Uh, write your, try to write your examples through the chat, okay? So I'm gonna be asking you after you write that, okay? Two examples, one using when and the second one using while. Uh, by the way, do you have any questions so far about it? This is just a uh, feedback, okay? While I was working, uh, he called me. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's see. Anybody else? Start writing, writing your sentences through the chat, please. Let's see, anybody else? I'll write your examples. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Um, okay, Jenny, will you read your uh, example, please? Oh, check the verb in the past tense. Well, I was working, he. Mm, okay, Jenny, check the verb. So what is the verb that we use to uh, watch uh, in order to, yeah, ver televisión, right? Look or watch? Think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Marlene. Watch. TV. Mm -hmm. Watched. 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 Yes, watched. Um, excellent. Karen, could you read your example, Karen? Well, I was running. She was listening to the music. Okay, perfect. So you correct it, right? While I was running, he was listening to music he was listening to music yeah the thing is that they happen at the same they were happening at the same time right while i was running he was listening to music okay perfect um okay marlene thanks uh wendy okay wendy go ahead perfect why i was studying english my mother was watching tv Okay, studying, check the spelling for studying. What is the spelling? Studying. Okay, perfect. Let's see, anybody else? Um, raise your hands or activate your microphones. 
Wells. Um, let me see. Neftali, Roberto, Selma. Okay, teacher. Number one, when I was in the English class, I drank a Coca Cola. This <laughs> okay. is the number one. And the number two, when I was taking a shower, I was listening to music. Okay, I was listening to music. To music. Okay, yeah, I music. was listening to music. Okay, perfect. Good job. Let's see anybody else. How about, uh, let me see anybody else uh, activate your microphone. Okay, Giselle, are you here? You can activate your microphone. So don't be afraid of, well, making mistakes. So this is normal. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see, Karen Yvette. Karen Yvette. Good night, teacher. Hello. Okay, when I was buying the shoes, he was, he was waiting. Okay, could you repeat your sentence, please? Okay, when I was buying the shoes, she was waiting. Okay, she was waiting. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, so we have two more. Uh, Sara, please, will you read your example? When I was taking a shower, my friend called me. Okay, perfect. Nice. Uh, Elisa. My example is when is while I was studying, she was exercising. Okay, she was exercising, exercising, exercising. While I was studying, she was exercising. Yes, okay, Elisa, good job. Um, Carolina, Jenny? Uh, when I was working, she watched TV. Yeah, let's say. Okay, when I was working, watched TV. Watched, mm -hmm. watched TV. TV. Oh. Mm -hmm. But remember, uh, uh -huh. tell me. While I take a shower, my eh, puedo decir, aunque eh, otro pronombre que no sea she, puedo decir my yeah. son. Of course. My son eh, opened the door. Okay. Okay, listen, while I check check that, listen, listen to this. While is followed by the ING form. While I was taking a shower, mm -hmm. uh -huh, he, uh, my son, okay, my son opened the door. Check the, the chat, okay, look at that. While I was taking a shower, my son opened, opened the door. The door. Ah, check the example and write it, okay? Okay. Thanks, teacher. No problem. Okay, so just remember, while follows ing, when follows ing, okay? Mm -hmm. And the rest, past tense. Okay, good job, guys. We'll continue with something else. And um, let me see. Oh, so just let me predict something else, okay? Hopefully we will open the platform soon, but um, now we're gonna be checking this, okay, before doing so, okay. Uh, we're gonna be checking some adverbs. And um, let's see, I'm gonna need someone to read this, please. Uh, maybe Carolina, or Carolina. <laughs> Help us, please, adverbs. Activate your microphone, Jenny. It's me. You're mute. You're mute. Um, Jenny. Some technical issues. Let's see. Um, Karen, maybe you, Elizabeth, Karen, Elizabeth, Bernal. Hi, teacher. Mm, could you help us reading this information, please? Teacher, I don't, I can listen. Please repeat. Oh, could you read this information, please? Adverts modify. 
Oh, sorry. Let's see. Uh, here, here, here I have it. Can you see that now? Teacher, ahora sí me escucha. Yes, yes, Jenny. Read this, this sentence. Yes. Uh, these words. Uh, yes, please. Adverbs. Adverbs modify. Verbs, adjectives, other adverbs, quantifiers, and whole sentence. Whole sentences. Okay. So we're going to be checking just a part of this topic, uh, which is in order to create a story, right? And we're going to be checking that soon in the platform. So I hope it opens. But uh, remember, adverbs modify verbs, adjectives, other adverbs, quantifiers, and whole sentences. Whole sentences mean uh, uh, a complete sentence. So an adverb can modify any of these things. But we're going to check some examples, okay? Let me see. I'm going to open the platform. Also, so I'm waiting for that. Maybe we, yes, we're ready. Okay, so this is basically the same, okay? This is basically the same. Uh, look at this. A word or a phrase that modifies, so an adverb, what is an adverb? So it's a word, right, that modifies or qualifies an adjective, a verb or other adverbs, or, or a verb or, or a word group expressing a relation of place, time, circumstance, manner, cause, degree. Um, and here you have some examples like gently, quiet. So they describe how something is done, right? So they qualify, they modify this. Let's see, we're gonna check some examples, okay? Look at this, we have some adjectives and we convert these adjectives into adverbs by adding some uh, parts like L-Y, slow, slowly. There are some spelling rules. Uh, bad, same, adverb or bad is badly. So I did uh, that exercise so badly. So how do you do that exercise? Badly, right? So, so it's it's a modifying that adjective. Strong. Um, this adjective is um strong, and the other is strongly. Let me see. Um, okay. So I think you can see that uh, better now, right? White. Quietly and angry, angrily, right? Happy, happily. So these are just some of the common ones, right? Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to send you a list, right? So you can check that. So how can you create a number? Let's see, so now we check some examples. Jump, look at this, strong. How is it jumping? Any idea? So, do you have any idea? How is it jumping? Strongly. Okay, let's see. It is jumping strongly. Perfect. Good job. So, I'm going to show you the verb and I'm going to show you the uh, adjective, right? So, try to think about the adverb. How is it jumping strongly? Let's see. It's so like next example play and happy. How is he playing, guys? He's playing. He's, he's playing. He's playing football. He's playing soccer. Happily. Happily. Oh, happily. happily. Yes, right? So remember, so an adverb describes an adjective or modifies a verb, right? So how is he playing? So we need to know how is he playing? He's playing happily. Okay, another example, run and fast. How is it running? Fastly, fastly. 
Okay. In this case, fast. we don't modify the uh, adverb. Mm -hmm. So they are running fast. But in order to know that, uh, we have to study the, the construction of the form of the adverbs, right? Let's see, how are they running? Fast. No fastly, okay? Oh, okay, this is, uh, uh, well, this is me when I'm uh, walking, when I'm exercising. <laughs> so how do you, <laughs> what were you probably when you're sad, right? So how do you walk? Really how is he walking? He's walking cake. Quietly, cake. quietly, quietly, quietly. Quietly. Mm -hmm. quietly quietly so remember when you say be quiet so stay calm right be quiet don't be quietly so he's I walking quietly yes okay. yeah let's say like silencioso or yeah will be okay but he looks like he's going to die or something else let's see paint in that oh, okay how is he painting He's painting badly. Bad uh, okay, badly. So, bad, so badly. Okay, look at this. He's painting, painting badly. badly, right? Okay. Uh, okay, cycle. Fast. How is he cycling? Fast. 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 Perfect. So you got the idea. So you got the idea. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this happened to you when you were at school, when you were children. <laughs> okay. Let's say question. How is he punishing students? Angry. Uh-huh. Yes, right. He's punishing them. Angry. 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 Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's see. This is your turn. So think about some ideas. So how are they, they playing? Uh, I, I hope this is not your favorite team, right? This is like Argentina, right? They're playing fast. They fast? play strongly. Strongly? Anything else? Strongly? Fast? Yes, strongly. Fast. No. <laughs> you you were right. You were right. But <laughs> they're playing badly, right? So no goal. Okay, look at this. How are they fishing? <laughs> Any... They finish. They are uh, happily. Happy. 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 Okay, happily, good, happily. <laughs> they are hungry, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. How is he walking? Slowly. 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 Excellent. Good job. He's okay. working as well. Yeah. Indeed, he's working slowly. Okay. How is he cycling? Fast. Yes. Uh, fast. Yes. Fast. Fast. And fast. And for you, I'm cycling fast. Fast, right? Let's see. Okay, that's in. That's all. Let's see. Um, we're gonna be checking now. Um, some examples. Let's see. I'm gonna show you the platform because oh, uh, there we have the um, discussion on this. Adverbs. So just let me show it to you. Okay. So can you see the platform, guys? Yes. Okay. So let me see where is it. Okay, here. So we're on uh, lesson two point three. Okay, lesson two point three. So in this lesson, we have been checking um okay useful adverbs for telling stories. So these are some other adverbs that you're going to check. Okay, so I'm going to play the video. So please listen to the video and then we're going to have uh, some discussion on it. Okay.
sentences. Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive, negative, and Okay, listen, listen up. So, as she mentioned previously, we're going to use these um, adverbs in order to express... Hi, this time we'll talk about some... In order to talk about some... Uh, well, in order to describe how a story is, let's watch that part again. Adverbs, which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Okay. So look at this. So we're going to use these adverbs in order to emphasize something interesting. Okay. So when you describe, when you uh, talk about a story that happened to you, right? Or you want to make that emphasis, right? So that um, something else, right? Let's see. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, Luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Okay, listen up. Right now, we're going to do the following. Here we have these, uh, let's say, uh, four... Of uh, 10 adverbs. So we need to check which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which are neutral. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So let's think about these adverbs coincidentally. So what do you think about it? So it could be positive, negative, or neutral. Think about it. Fortunately, sure. uh huh. Yeah. Neutral. 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 Yeah. Neutral. Mm -hmm. Interesting. How about fortunately? Ideas? Fortunately? Positive. 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 Okay. So if it's neutral, fortunately, positive, luckily? Positive. Positive. Okay. Miraculously? Positive. Neutral. Neutral. Miraculously. Positive. Positive. I think so, yeah. Sadly. Negative. Negative, Negative right? Strangely. She's acting like, uh -huh. strangely. Negative. negative, right? So they express a negative thought, right? A negative meaning. Uh, oh, yeah, you mentioned strangely. It's that neutral or negative? Negative. Negative. Okay. Natural. Uh, uh huh. Natural. Neutral. Okay, I'm gonna write that. Neutral. Neutral. And I thought I think that you said the same for the first one, right? Neutral. Okay. So how about suddenly? Suddenly. Suddenly. Possibly. No. Suddenly, it could be that positive, suddenly. Neutral. Negative. Negative. Negative? I would say neutral, right? Because neutral. It's not really expressive. Neutral. Uh-huh. Neutral. Neutral. How about surprisingly? Neutral. Positive. Positive. Okay. Well, but remember that it depends. Something can be surprisingly, but we don't mm -hmm. know if it is good or not, right? Well, let's. Well, it could be neutral, right? Uh, unexpectedly. Negative. 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 Okay. About unfortunately. 
नहीं गरीब नहीं गरीब नहीं गरीब ओके परफेक्ट सो नाउ वी गोइंग टू चेक द एग्जांपल्स लुक एट दिस रिमेम्बर दिस अम अबर्स कैन बी प्लेस एट द बिगिनिंग ओके आई एम गोइंग टू प्ले द वीडियो अ लिटिल मोर एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू give you a sure explanation about it okay that's it unfortunately now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive negative and neutral we want you to complete the following statements with those adverbs so you can come up with creative sentences okay so look at this so here we have our sentences we have to try to type these sentences and add an adverb For example, uh, we're gonna start first with some important details about it. Adverbs can be placed. Okay, at the beginning or at the end of our sentence. What is something else that we need to keep in mind? Um, an adverb can modify a verb or a complete sentence. Okay, remember, adverb can modify a verb or a complete sentence, so they can be placed at the beginning or at the end. Okay, so let's see how how is that. For example, unfortunately, I was walking down the street when. So please complete that idea. Unfortunately, I was walking down the street when. Unfortunately, uh huh. So you were um, walking down the street when, um, when I saw him. <laughs> when I when I saw. Okay, so this is up to you, right? When I saw him, oh my gosh, I don't want to see him. <laughs> Unfortunately, right? So that's negative, right? Unfortunately, I was walking down the street when I saw him or her. Let's see another example. It started out as a normal day, but sadly, look at this. Sadly, remember an adverb can modify a complete sentence. It started out as a normal day, but sadly. So what happened? For example, it ended up. Okay, so it finished. It started out as a normal day, but sadly it ended up. How uh, how this day end? How is it end? Sadly, right? So sadly is modifying our full sentence. It ended up. Let's see. Another example with the last um, sentence. Uh, we were on our way to the festival when suddenly, so what is the meaning for suddenly idea? Suddenly? I received, received a bad uh, news. Okay. I received a bad news, yes. Okay, so what else can you notice uh, about these? So these are called adverbial clauses. Okay, an adverbial clause is, um, can we follow, right, an adverbial clause is the one that is um, with the adverb, suddenly I received the bad news. So that's an adverbial clause. But remember, so after when you cannot not verb, So when plus adverb, let's say, 
because they uh, it starts in a sentence. When we we're on our way to the festival, we were on our way to the festival when suddenly I received a bad news. Remember that you want to emphasize something. Or um, it can be uh, the adverb can be at the beginning, right? At the beginning of your sentence. Okay, so now let's try to create some more examples. So think about something that happened to you. For example, I was, um, let's say, um, okay, I was driving home when, try to add um, an advert. Give me a negative advert. Negative advert. Do you remember the adverbs? Let's see. I'm gonna show it to you back again. Unfortunately. Here. Then I decided which unfortunately. Okay, so there you have them. I was driving home when sadly, okay, what happened? When sadly, I crashed. Yes, right? Sadly, I crashed. Um, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, sadly and unfortunately is almost the same right yeah unfortunately yeah they they express a similar meaning you know sadly yeah. unfortunately could be we can place uh any of them here unfortunately mm -hmm. so the thing is that the meaning that you want to express right unfortunately yeah i think it fits better it's better unfortunately i crashed but it's sadly too, right? <laughs> but yeah. you didn't expect that. Or when suddenly I crashed. Mm -hmm. So in here you can place that suddenly, repentinamente, right? Suddenly I crashed. Unfortunately, I crashed. Right? So you were not expecting to crash, right? Let's see another example. I was, uh, let's say, sleeping. When unexpectedly, what happened? Unexpectedly, so try to complete that idea. I was sleeping when unexpectedly. So think about a, an idea. Let's say that cat um, run into the, yeah, into my bathroom could be, yes. It made a lot of noise, right? Okay, let's see some more examples. Maybe we can start another one you see in, um, let's say, luckily. So do you copy the, um, do you copy the adverbs? Yes. Now that you have listened and decided which ones were listened and decided which ones were positive, negative, and neutral, we want you to complete the following statements with those. Okay, so here we have done again. Okay, uh, luckily, uh, 
I was okay, saving some money when when uh -huh. uh, I worked in the street. Hmm. Okay, think about that. Luckily, I was saving some money when I, for example, lost my job. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I was saving some money. So you were doing something in the past. And when you lost your job, right? So you have something, right? You have a colchon. Luckily. So remember that these adverbs help us in order to emphasize something. Okay, so right now I need you to try to uh, write one example using, um, well, let's say three examples, okay? Three examples. I was walking down the street when it started out as a normal day, but we were on our way to the festival when, so complete that three sentences, okay? These three sentences. I was walking down the street when, unfortunately, I lost my, let's say, what did you lost? What did you lose? I lost my wallet, let's say. It started out as a normal day, but suddenly my boss Call me, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so please write three examples. Write three examples. Three examples. I'm going to be asking you. Let me know if you have any question, guys. Or leave, leave, leave us a text, okay? Leave a text. Okay, Marlene, is everything okay? okay. Are you here, Marlene? Yes, teacher. Okay. Ready? No, Marlene? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Back to your mic. Jenny, ready? Lisa? Remember, just uh, yes, the others that we have checked, unfortunately, suddenly, suddenly. This is important because when you want to express your idea, oh, when suddenly, so, so it changes a lot, right? When you uh, talk like that. So it's not like, Okay, um, I was driving home when I crashed. Okay, so this is different, right? When you uh, add another, so you mention how things happen, right? I was driving home when unexpectedly, let's say what happened. When, when she cried, okay, something like that. Uh, let's see, um, Roberto. Uh, oh, I missed the bus, but luckily there was another one, just a minutes. Okay.
Mm-hmm, okay. Teacher, lo tenemos que escribir en el chat. Oh, just, no. Uh, no, just uh, on your notebooks, okay? okay. So you're going to be ready in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I watch TV when I unexpectedly my TV turn it off. Okay, I was watching TV when unexpectedly I unexpectedly my TV turn it off. When My TV turn it off. My TV or it turned off. Okay, probably a ghost. Let's see, somebody, somebody else? Who's ready? Oh, do you have any other example? Only that. Only that one, okay. Me to share. Okay, read your example, please. I was running when, unfortunately, I stumbled. Sorry. Will you spell the word stumble for you? Uh, tropezar. Oh, okay. Okay. I was cooking when, sadly, the meal, it burned. The meal weren't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was uh, correct sing, singing, cantar or singing. Uh huh. You were. I was singing. Run into. Okay. Can you can also use run into in order to say uh tropezar, right? So this could be another one. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. A stumble. A stumble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. see. Um. You can say fall on, maybe if you leave me that. So I'll check it. Fall on, let's see, walk. Okay, happen on. Well, even happen on, right? So that means drop aside. I didn't know that. So I was checking at that. Uh, do you have any other example? Yes. Sir, I have, um, sorry. I was singing when badly I chuck. Okay, so you were? <laughs> chuck is a atragantar. Yeah, but could you repeat the full sentence? I was singing <laughs> when badly I chuck. Okay, okay. Let's see anybody else. Um, I think you you're ready with your three sentences. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, we have a lady over there. Teacher, I have one. Okay. I was washing the dishes, but sadly, I broke a glass. Mm, yeah, okay. Interesting, good, that's a good one. Marlene, do you have another one? Yes, Um. I was receiving English class, but unex unexpectedly, my little girl woke up. <laughs> okay, she woke up, right? Okay, good. Uh, any other? Just that. Just that. Okay, good. Good job. Um, anybody else? Activate your microphone. Read your sentences. Me, teacher. Uh huh. I was swimming when surprisingly it started to rain. Mm, when surprisingly. Okay, it started to rain. It started. Started. Started to, to, to rain. rain. Okay, rain, rain. Okay, good job. Let's um Jenny or anybody else examples. Uh me teacher. Okay, Roberto. 
um, she forgot her umbrella at home, but luckily it didn't rain the day. Okay, yeah, I saw that, yeah, okay. Who else? Uh, mm, let's see, okay, Roberto, do you have another one, right? Yeah, just, uh, yeah, I missed the bus, but luckily there was another one just 30 minutes. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, so let me check that. I think we have another one. Uh, I think that was Jenny. Jenny, it was you. I have one. Um, I forgot my lunch at home, but luckily my friend gave me a slice of pizza. Uh -huh. Gamey, gamey, right? Gamey, gamey. Uh huh. Solo esa, solo esa. Okay, good. So I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Um, I don't know. We're missing somebody. If somebody else wants to read uh, his or her example, you can do it right now. Anybody else? Okay, good. Um, um, unfortunately, we we have to finish the lesson, but we'll continue tomorrow, guys. Uh, thanks for being here, by the way. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada Lopez. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Elisa Arely Lopez Campos. Thank you, Lisa. Giselle May Marie Hernandez Torres. Giselle May. No. Okay. Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gómez. Present. Thanks. Jose. Um, Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present teacher. Thanks, Karen. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzmán. Okay. So leave a text if you can not answer. Okay. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Thanks, Marlene. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Present. Thanks, Michelle. Nestalí Antonio Mejia. Present teacher. Thanks, Nestalí. Oscar Alexander Santana. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Uh, present teacher. Thanks, Roberto. Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Thanks, Sara. Selma Yamilet Peña Flores. Present. Selma, hi, Selma. Wendy Cecilia Molina. Present teacher. Thanks, Wendy. Jenny Carolina Ardón. Present teacher. Okay, thanks, guys. Well, that's all for today. I'll see you in tomorrow's lesson, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good day, night, okay? Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Sleep well. Good night to everyone.